with the the twenty in TQ cinq, the Zram that can TQ cinq, it's young rather than so hard. A center of care and two centers of technology. I know we did see in the main news that are it was left no thank very little. Well, I'm done via the Mozilla and them the bananas and the point that they were not even Rafani Lan the main news. I need to can you if she can a little bit is a little near. Ilmend and tooth lay thick valley, the Kiltan or a youth cubonis and Nevan, the Kikanus Vivalde, Vivalde, Snulfed, Usenek, then a sohnatas, and Yak Valin, and Yak Valley in any monocars valley, Eminig, a Sglizith browser, browser care, the menus, no came Karan Vivalde, a working the infam Uger, Amkidilla, one stake, Amkidilla, on a shuman tooth lay thick valley. The gimini here in Vivalde, no, the sewel, a winny len, then mahal, the sluay, and the cubani the king in the monkar siglizit, CEO, what is the mass yon, Tetchner, Mainer, Azul, Flech, a mass yon, yon. I've just introduced you in Kabil language. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Thanks, thanks for having me, and I'm uh, really proud uh, that uh, we are providing Vivaldi in the Kabul language. So that's a big thing for us. Uh, you are the CEO of Vivaldi Technologies. The Kabil language has recently discovered, or the Kabil people in general have recently discovered the Vivaldi browser. But many do not know the company behind his uh, browser. My question is. Uh, is Vivaldi a company or a foundation? That's the first question. The second uh, part of the question is, where is it located? And lastly, tell us uh, a little about you and Vivaldi Technologies. Yeah, I mean, if we start with the beginning, uh, Vivaldi is a company. Um, we're based in Norway. Uh, we have uh, smaller companies in, in Iceland. There's a few people in the US and there's a few people here and there. but. But the main company and the main branch of the people is in Norway and Iceland. Um, our servers are hosted in Iceland. Uh, so, so that's kind of how, how we are organized as, as, as a company. Let me see. The third question? Yes. Uh, the third question is uh, uh, basically uh, to tell us more about Vivaldi Technologies. And uh, you were before the co-founder and CEO of Opera Software. Uh, what made you leave this company and how does the philosophy of Vivaldi Technologies differ from Opera Software? Sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've been doing the web for a really long time. Uh, I mean, I co-founded Opera uh, in, in 1995. I started working with the World Wide Web in 1992. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've been building browsers for a long time. I was CEO of Opera from 1995 to 2010. Mm -hmm. uh, and I quit the company because disagreement of the directions of the company. The, the investors were more interested in selling the company and I was more interested in, in building the company and, and building great stuff. I left Opera and uh, after that, there was a question of, okay, what am I going to do? I wasn't thinking I would build another browser, but when Opera went in a different direction, um, I decided to do Vivaldi. And in many ways, we are following in the footsteps of what we used to do at Opera, which was to focus on the end users, uh, adapt to the needs of, of the individuals, see the individual, and, and, and kind of build just a, a great browser. And um, if, you look at, if you look at Vivaldi, I mean, our focus as a company is, uh, I mean, instead of collecting data on users and, and kind of trying to find out what most people want, we are looking at the individual and we're putting in a lot of features that you just don't find in any other browser at all. And that's kind of where our focus is as a company. Um, need to doing what the individuals want and, and not just uh, what the group wants. The question, next question is, why is local, localization of languages in Vivaldi browser is so important for you? Well, I mean, it's part of adapting to the needs of every user. Um, I mean, it's, I've never liked the fact that, that groups of people are being ignored. It, it doesn't matter what group it is. And I think as part of that, I mean, we did this at Opera when we were 
kind of focusing on mobile phones and the like, because we wanted to support uh, all users, not just those that had computers, but also those that had mobile phones. And there's a similar situation now with Vivaldi. But part of it also is a recognition of the importance of language to people and to their cultures. And so supporting languages uh, is, for me, it's a, it's a question of supporting the, the people uh, that want to have their culture and their language. And it's a question of respect. Uh, the, the, the following question is, um, uh, how many languages does Vivaldi support and how can people benefit from it? Well, so currently we support 80 languages. And uh, I mean, what is special here is that the work that we are doing is uh, through collaboration with our users. So we are having people that contact us and say, we would like to see Vivaldi in our language. And that's obviously what also happened with the Kabil language. Uh, we got the request and we were really happy and delighted that we got this request, uh, that they wanted to help us and, and, uh, and, and make Vivaldi available in the language. So that's a, a lot of our translation work. It comes from that. Now you have to remember, I'm coming from a country of Iceland. There's 360,000 people. Uh, we know the importance of the language and the culture and, and, and why it's important to support that. Uh, let me just uh, uh, translate what you said basically uh, 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 for Kabil community. On the car, I must say, on the car, 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 نمزدات لل 160 الف كيتي دينا امزدا ماتشاطاس دونك نتسدي جايه كان لي بغات 30 نسه تيليا تكشم نقماضه لا كي انت تكنولوجي تكنولوجي تاع مينوت نعطي مينوتين لي نوبل تكنولوجي هي دان شكيف كان زال اي وكني تكشمت توتلاين نيفان دي تي غادي شبان توتلاي تقبليت داخل انو ماضه لا كي اون فين على الموند نوميريك دان شكيا وين ساستيدي تسدون Uh, next question is why, uh, John, Yon, why uh, should a Kabil speaker or any user make a switch to Vivaldi, knowing that, for example, Kabil is already in the Mozilla uh, Firefox, basically, uh, browser? What's the difference between Vivaldi and uh, Firefox, for example? Well, I think, I mean, what is different is, is that we are focusing uh, on the individual with a lot of features that you just don't find anywhere else. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know about you, uh, I have a lot of tabs open, so we have ways to organize your tabs, so you can actually have 100 tabs or 200 tabs open and still find back to them. Um, we have the capability to show pages uh, side by side. Um, you have the capability to block trackers and block ads, if you like that. And you can customize Vivaldi quite extensively. I mean, besides the tab handling and the bookmarks handling and, and, uh, and the like, we have things like being able to take screenshots. Uh, we introduced that. I think Firefox actually has copied that, but we were the first to come with that feature. Yeah. Um, we have panels, uh, web panels that you can have on the left side in the browser um, for uh, easy access to favorite sites. Um, we have uh, a function to pause the internet, which basically pauses all audio and video and, and makes the, white, uh, the screen white. We have uh, a built-in uh, clock timer. I mean, th there's just a lot of features that we have that no one else has. I mean, the list is, ex is really long and it's getting longer every day. There's just a wealth of functionality that you're not finding in all the browsers and we are actually finding that a lot of the ideas that we are bringing up they are now being copied by some of our competitors and i guess we have to be doing something right when that is happening perfect i was about to ask this question by the way that vivaldi has a lot of uh, features that adapt to the users and can help them work better Uh, next question is, uh, is it true that uh, Kabil language was one of the fastest languages to be translated in Vivaldi browser? Uh, and what role does the community play there? Here? Well, I mean, we were extremely impressed. 
I mean, the community connected with us and they said they would like to prove, they asked us if we would be willing to, to support the Kabil language. And we were just saying, hey, if you want to support us, we want to support you. That's great. And they were so fast. I mean, they, it's really impressive. I think it's clearly the fastest translation that we've seen of any language. It's very impressive. أكيد تدي سهمة سيون إيوهم القبائل جلان ذو الصنفاء كي ننكشو من توت لا تقبلية الجيمينيج بيفالديس وهميتنا تصل لا حترشكو هي أكثر مزورة توت لا يديكش من ديس أنشكيس وهميتن سوف ذرنا ذكر الموانا نكون نتكاسن سنتين أثنين ديجا تدز فرنس كبان شغلنسن طمشوات ذات كي يديس وهمن وسلوية كي كن في فالدي مس كي وندنيغ يون تتشنا أسقسي يعني ديس دون مس سينير مس يون تتشنا سينير أشو إز مس سنتين يعني إيقبيليا What would you like to say to our Kabil community? Uh, I'm just really proud that we are supporting your language and that uh, we are the second browser to do so. Um, and we hope you will give us a try. You'll try us out. Now, to be clear, we have the browser now available in Kabil on the PC side. Uh, mobile site will follow as soon as possible. Uh, that's on our side. Uh, the, the, the translators have done their job. Um, we will get it out as soon as possible and, and, and we are really thankful for the support that we have and, and hope we can give something back. Account the Kanga Yakvelian Techvelian, Mass Yon Techner, Techner, on the Kanga, any Queen's of the Yakvelian, we can never hundred the demon at the demon, Eminic, Vivalde, Natalie Charge, the browser, a care, the navigator, Vivalde, who can that's the members of the map, so long as the وين دوكس الكيم نا مقام بي سي كان طغرات بي سي كان يقلا اشكو مازال شي مان سي ايما فوسن كي لي سيلولار دوين يظن هي ان شي كود ديفا اسيا غانزات مؤسسه سيدون اسيا ماسيون سينير ذا شوت مورلي غانزات سيدون ان في فالدي ذا نيكست كويشن از وات از في فالديس فيجن ان ذا فيوتشر اي مين We want to contribute to a positive internet. I mean, the way we view it, we want to support uh, people in the way that they want to browse the internet. And we want to contribute in a way to a, a, a fair and open internet without uh, people being monitored and, and, and their information collected. So uh, our, our goal as a company is just to provide a great piece of software that also contribute to a positive, inclusive internet. أسقسير مس يون تتنور أسينير ذا كان الحامو مسلاي ذا كان أيان إزمان أدي جبذ اللوية أن في فالدي ذا كان في فالدي وتيليان ذي سيني منقار تقوضان نسفكارنا لفي بريفي لإباد تين تين ما يجب أتصل غاشين إذا شكين أستدينير سيجليزيت مس يون Senior, uh, we heard that Vivaldi does not track users. Could you tell us more about how does Vivaldi protect users' privacy? Yeah, I think, I mean, like you said, I mean, the first thing is, do we engage in tracking users? And we just don't believe that that's our right to do, and that we think it's the wrong thing to do. We don't think we should track users. No. So we, we don't do that. We don't build profiles on users. Uh, and, and we try what we can to stop others from doing the same. And as part of that, we are providing uh, tracker blocking and ad blocking as uh, options that users can enable globally or on, on, sig on some sites. Following question, uh, Jan, uh, you have a huge experience in building browsers. You have uh, built browsers for more than two decades now. First Opera browser, as I said before, and now Vivaldi. Can you tell uh, what are the usual problems that users face and how does Vivaldi address these issues? Well, I think, I mean, what we've been seeing is a trend that there's a simplification on the browser, that all the browsers are trying to be the same. And there's a design philosophy, which is uh, taking away the adaptability of the browsers. And, and this is where we are different. 
I mean, we, we want to, to build something that adapts to the needs of the browsers and, and that's a focus for us. And, and, and I think, I mean, that's a, that's a unique focus for us as a company that we are looking at the individual, not just the numbers uh, and, and, and through that, uh, providing a better browser that kind of tries to take and focus on the privacy, focuses on the needs of the user and, and nothing else. Next question, uh, what do you think about the browsers 10 years from now, or why is local localization of languages in Vivaldi browser is so important for you? I think in a way, when it comes to, to browsing, um, I mean, I've been seeing the internet evolve from the very beginning. And I remember in the beginning, they were saying, people telling us, why are you making the browser available in Norwegian or other languages than English because they said the internet wasn't in English and it kind of was in the beginning, but that changed pretty rapidly. Uh, and similarly, then there was a discussion of, okay, uh, the internet should only be on PCs and not on mobile phones. And, and now more people are using the internet on a mobile phone than on a PC, whether it's your uh, televisions or cars or, or other kinds of devices. Um, and again, as part of that, the language is central. I mean, and so we see this as a natural trend that you'll have the internet on more devices uh, and we'll have it in more languages adapting to the needs of the people. And that we see our, we see our part as, as, as helping make that happen. COVID-19. <laughs> Uh, with the context of COVID-19 and containment, uh, teleworking has exploded, as uh, uh, most of us know. Many people and uh, companies recommend their employees to work from home. And uh, these companies recommended uh, to choose secure Browsers is Vivaldi secure enough, and how how can people trust Vivaldi? And the last question is: Is Vivaldi involved with actions about online security with other organizations like uh, basically your main competitor on that, which is uh, Mozilla, for example? Yeah, I mean, uh, when it comes to security, I mean, security is the basis of when you're on the internet and with browsing, and you want to be as secure as as, as possible. So that's clearly something that we focus on as a, as a company. And, and clearly we also work with competitors and, 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 and partners in that way, including Mozilla. That's a, that's a natural thing. We, we, we meet with them and, and all the competitors, whether we are discussing with the European Union or with uh, in, 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 in more technical communities or, or, or the like, I mean, um, our focus is security. Uh, as part of that, there is the focus on privacy because I think the two are clearly interlinked. So um, I think the lack of privacy and, and the collection of data is a security issue. So helping keep people safe is, is a big part of that. Now, when it comes to our kind of, uh, us as a company, I think uh, I've been in this business for a long time, first through Opera and, and, and through Vivaldi. I think people recognize our history and what we have done as uh, in, in, in those two companies, first in Opera and now in Vivaldi. And, and I think people recognize who we are and, and, and what we do and our intentions and what we've said over time, we continue to say and we continue to do. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, for um, uh, Jan, for uh, software developers, uh, maybe the most important question for them is, does Vivaldi support the, the last norms of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript? Yeah, yeah, we, we are obviously on, on the, I mean, we, we support the latest and, and, and greatest standards. Um, Clearly, that's uh, the, the way we work. And, and I mean, if we explain a little bit how the, the world of browsers works today, um, most of the browsers now share the same core, um, whether it's Google, Microsoft, Opera, or Vivaldi, 
we say uh, today we, we share the same core. Now that wasn't the case when we built Opera, to be clear. But the world has changed, and, and now most of the largest companies they actually share the same core. The exception is is uh, Mozilla Firefox and and Apple to some extent. Um, so the security level that you'll find and, 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 and the support of standards, the basics there will be the same. The difference will be things like uh, the, the anti-tracking, the uh, blocking of ads or, or other features and, and, and actually just the, how much the companies are collecting. And again, in our case, our business is not about collecting information on, on users, rather the opposite. So, so that's not who we are. That's not what we are about. So we remove code that collects information and we add the blocks collection. Mm -hmm. uh, Jan, I would like to come back to this um, question of uh, uh, Vivaldi being supporting only the PC platforms. Uh, so you have added the, lang the Kaby language to the desktop of uh, uh, PCs. Uh, this is already a big uh, a step forward. But as you know, from the latest studies that the rate of use of smart smartphones uh, to surf the web uh, has just surpassed those of computers, uh, uh, PC computers, I mean, for the first time in the history. So my question is, do you intend to add the Kabil language in the mobile versions that you're working on now? Uh, as you said, maybe uh, it will be next uh, uh, soon, I mean, and uh, yeah, yeah, as soon as possible, no question about it. I mean, obviously, we, we we know that the community has done their task, which is to kind of do the translation, and 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 clearly, we are. I would say we are embarrassed that we haven't provided it on mobile yet, and we'll do it as soon as we can. So, so is it an easy move? Uh, for because since the Kabil language is already uh, in the uh, PC version of the browser, Vivaldi browser. Is it an easy move uh, once uh, you set everything on the sm smartphones for the cabbie to be uh, a direct uh, transposition? Is it easy or there is uh, efforts or uh, steps to do? There, there's, there's some technical work on our side yes. to do there. Uh, it, it's, just, it's just work. It just needs to be done. And and, and we have to do it. it it's, it's, it's not more complicated than that, but... Uh, there, there is extra task for us to do on the mobile side. And, and, and I, I mean, we want to do that as quickly as possible in recognition of the efforts that the Kabil community has done in making the translation available to us. Okay. You, you, you mentioned, that you mentioned um, uh, the, the PC systems. What about Apple, by the way, Apple uh, products? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, both uh, PCs, oh. Mac and Linux. Okay, uh, okay. All, all, all the PC platforms. Uh, including Raspberry Pi and and, and the like, all of them, we, we support. So it's 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 and we support the mobile, but we just need to do some language work there. So we'll get to that as soon as possible. That's my promise. Perfect, perfect. That's good news for Kabil community. So uh, the last question now is: there any direct support uh, from communities around the world, like uh, supporting actions? trainings, evangelization about web and security online issues, etc. cetera? Uh, I mean, we work really closely with communities uh, uh, across the board uh, in, in, in focusing on, well, spreading the word about uh, Vivaldi and, 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 and also just we, we, our relationship with communities is really special. Uh, we have a lot of people that are wanting to help us, that uh, are spending a lot of time testing what we are building, giving us feedback, uh, helping us with translations and the like. There's a lot of people that want us to succeed. They think there's an important, uh, that we provide an important service uh, to the community. And, and I mean, to be frank, I mean, one of the reasons why I had the need to start another browser company after the first one was that the community uh, of Opera users that were really liking what we were building, they didn't like where the company went after I left and they were asking, can you do something? And I couldn't do anything at Opera anymore, but I could build with Aldi. And, and it is really about giving back to the community. And, and I'm just so thankful for the support that we have from people. And, and, and that's why we are doing this. 
Thank you very much, uh, John. And if you have any other uh, point that you would like to uh, mention or you would like to uh, uh, add for a Kabir community, basically. Yeah, I, I would just like to add again, I'm, I'm really proud that we are supporting uh, the community and the community is supporting us. And, and uh, we look forward to having a great relationship together. And I hope that we will support you. Uh, in, I mean, our goal is to support you in the best possible way that we can. We'll try our best. That's my promise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amathu, le CEO, and the company that came from Vival de Technologies, and the software no Senekir, Yewon Emini, in a browser, navigator, Emusma, Saris, Maki, the company that came from Vival de, and then the length of Vailith, the Shim this year, the Manian and Tutlayen, Glena Kadik Sakatura, who they know is for Han, the Vailith, the Mir Yakan, the Shim Yakan, the the meaning of the car Firefox, I can see the 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 يقبلي إنه كنيع السنوك مون تلاتين سن أوجر هذا غنا استخدامن ألا إنك إيمينوثن هذا غا إسلك من استقبلي ت هين إنك يوم دي سوتون يان ودي قار هين اللي تسوت عص يمكن تغام استخدامم ألا لك يعني في فالدي كم نوان عند غاي اللي كلش استقبلي ت I just said all what all what have been said basically in Kabil language. Thank you very much, Jan. Thanks a lot. I can tell you that the government has been working on this for a long time. The government has been working on this for a long time. The government has been working on this for a long time. The government has been working on this for a long time. The government has been working on this for a long time. قيمة ذي الثلوث 